Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been a while, but I decided to create this look right here, which is perfect for the holiday season or even just a regular date night. And it is very easy. So if you want to see how I created this look, then just keep on watching. I'm going to go ahead and start by priming my face using the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I already did my eyebrows off camera. I'm just going to go ahead and clean them and set my arcs as well. Go ahead and clean my eyebrows using my NYX concealer and the brush from the body shop. ahead and switch to a bigger dome brush so I can just set my eyes it makes it a little bit faster rather than using the small thin brush So I already set my eyes and I already put tape. I just like my eyeshadow to look a little bit more cleaner and a little bit more precise. And for today's tutorial, I'm going to be using the Morphe 3502 palette. And I'm going to go ahead and start off with the shade Universal, which I am going to be using as my transition color. And I'm going to go ahead and take that on the Morphe R37 brush. Now I'm going to go ahead and switch to this Anastasia brush that comes with most of their palettes and I'm going to go ahead and use this shade Fire right here. Excuse my broken palette but it's this shade right here and I'm going to go in lightly with the brush. I don't want a lot of eyeshadow just so that it will make it hard to blend. Now to go ahead and blend that out a little bit more, I'm going to go back in with the Morphe R37 brush. I'm just going to take my brush cleaner to clean out the excess powder on that. And I'm just going to go ahead and use that to blend out the color a little bit more. With the same Anastasia brush, I'm going to go ahead and use this one for most of my shades. I feel like it's a really good brush to blend out and just pack on my shades onto my eyelid. Now, I'm going to go ahead and use the shade Ruby or the little, little product that I have left of that shadow. I'm just going to use that to go ahead and darken up this red. It's okay because I only need a little bit of that color. And I'm going to go ahead and pack that on on top of this fire shade right here. And it just helps it darken of that red. I really want to go ahead and deepen that red out because this is the color that's going to be kind of like poking through the rest of the colors that I'm going to go ahead and add later on. Now with the Morphe R37, again, I'm just going to go ahead and blend out those two colors.
Now since the black on my Morphe 3502 palette is broken, I'm just going to go ahead and switch out onto this Tarte palette. This was from their 2015 holiday collection, so it's not in stores. And I'm going to go ahead and use this shade right here, which is called Midnight Kiss. And I'm going to take this brush right here just to pack on the black shade. And I'm going to go ahead and start from the inner crease just a little bit and then keep adding more on top of the red. You want to start with a little bit because if not, then it's just going to make it harder for you to blend out the colors. I'm going to switch back to the Anastasia brush. I just use that brush to pack on the black shade. Go ahead and blend that out. And then I'm going to keep adding more. You want it to be a really dramatic look that's why you have to keep on adding the black just to make it a little bit more intense and then you have to go and go in and go back with a blending brush I'm gonna go ahead and use this real techniques Now that our black shade is blended out good, we're going to go ahead and do a half cut crease. I'm going to go ahead and use the same brush I used to clean up my eyebrows. So it's going to be this brush from the Body Shop. Now I'm going to go ahead and use my NYX concealer and just carve out my crease. I'm going to go ahead and switch to my LA Girl Pro Concealer and I'm just going to put some on my arm because I'm running out of my NYX one. Now with a light shade, I'm just going to go ahead and set wherever I cut my crease. And I'm going to go and use this shade right here, which is called Eggnog. And I'm just going to take my finger and set the eyeshadow wherever I put concealer. Okay, so now that that is done, I'm going to go ahead and take a flat brush and I'm going to go ahead and add a shimmery shade and I'm going to be using this shade right here from the Morphe 35O palette and I'm going to go ahead and use a flat brush right here. And like always, I'm just going to go ahead and spray a little bit using my Mario Badescu brush. It just helps intensify the color a little bit more. You can add any shimmery shades. Let's say that you're going to wear something with silver sparkle. You can definitely add a silver shade. But in this case, I'm going to go ahead and go with gold. Same with the other eye. I'm going to go ahead and spray my brush. Go ahead and use my e.l.f. Professional Concealer brush. This is perfect to cut creases for just for small detail because it is really tiny and it is really precise and I'm gonna go ahead and use this elf glitter primer and I like to add some on my hand just so it can make 
it a little bit more easier. And I'm not going to add glitter all over where I put the shimmery shade. I'm only going to add it where the bold and the black shadow meet. Okay, and for the glitter, I'm going to go ahead and use Gold Medallion from Coastal Scents. And I'm going to go ahead and use the same brush. Like I said, you can use silver glitter if you want, but in this case, I'm going to go ahead and just use the gold. And I'm going to add it wherever I added the glitter glue. And with the brush, I like to go ahead and just kind of like spread it in between. You can definitely always just go ahead and have glitter all over. But I saw this picture, this girl did it like this, so I got inspired from her. Go ahead and do my eyeliner using my favorite eyeliner of all time, which is the Wet n Wild Mega Liner. It's okay if it's messy, we're going to go ahead and remove the tape anyways. Moving on to my lashes, I'm going to go ahead and use these Ardell Double Up Demi Wispies. Go ahead and use my MAC Pro Longer Foundation in the shade NC30 and my Real Techniques Blending Sponge. It's okay. I just got some on my um, eyebrows, but that's okay. I can go back in and just fix that one spot I got eyeshadow on.
I only like to put a little bit of foundation on my nose because my nose gets super oily and foundation doesn't last so I like to go ahead and put powder foundation on it. Go ahead and fix my eyebrow but I got foundation on using my NYX eyebrow pencil in the shade Espresso. Good. And then I'm going to go ahead and conceal my under eye using my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Light Ivory. And I'm going to go ahead and use my beauty sponge as well. Using my MAC Studio Fix Press Powder in the shade NC35, I'm going to go ahead and take my sponge as well, and I'm just going to go over my nose. Like I said, my nose is really oily, so foundation doesn't really last on it unless I go over with a powder. For my face, I'm using the Kavon D Shade and Light Contour Palette and the Shade and Light Brush. I'm going to go ahead and start by using this angled side of the brush and I'm going to go ahead and go in with this shade right here called shadow play to contour my cheeks With the leftover powder, I'm just going to go ahead and go with to my jawline and to my forehead as well. The black eyeshadow just kind of darkens up the red a little bit. my eyes I'm gonna go ahead and go back with my Maybelline Mega Push Mascara and I'm gonna add some to my lower lash line I mean lower lashes I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my favorite highlighter which is the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter in the shade Molten Gold I'm gonna go ahead and add lipstick, but honestly, I'm not sure what lipstick I wanna add. I have three choices. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch all of them, and then I guess I'll decide on that. This first shade is called Queen, and it's an ultra metallic lipstick from ColourPop. I ordered these when they first came out, but I never used them. So this is the first shade. Sorry, my swatches are horrible. So this one is the first shade and then I'm going to go ahead and go in and swatch the second ultra metallic lipstick as well in the shade 3 way. I think this one's a little bit more like a metallic maroon color compared to this one that's a little bit more on the reddish side. This one's more like on the wine. Okay, and then the last one is this shade right here from the Too Faced Melted Matte Collection. This is in the shade Lady Balls, and it's literally one of my favorite reds ever. The color is so gorgeous, and I think I might just end up going with this one. The red 
This is one of the prettiest reds I've ever seen. And I think I'm, I'm going to go with this one. Although I really like this one as well. I feel like it would really match. But um, let's just go ahead and go in with this red. You know, the classic red. I'm going to use the Wet n Wild lip liner in the shade very red and I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips Okay, now I'm going to go and put the lipstick Lady Balls. Lip liner really does make a difference because it just helps you to find your cupid's bow a little bit more and that's what i like about it um but now i'm going to go ahead and set my makeup with the mario badescu facial spray and this is the final look i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and i hope you guys have a merry christmas don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel